What's up everybody, Brian Tong here and iOS 18.3 is officially out. Just to let you know, right, that is support on phones, iPhone 15 Pro and higher. So that includes 16 and 16 Pros. But we wanna show you off the new features and really with iOS 18.3, it's a few incremental changes, but the biggest changes come to visual intelligence. Now, if you saw in previous videos that we did, we showed you some of the things that visual intelligence can do. And so just a really quick recap, you hold the camera control button, you point it at an object, and then you have two options to go to. One is really using and leaning on Google image search to match that image to show you what it is. And then also potentially give you buying recommendations if it is an item that you can buy. The other option is to get more detailed information about it, really using chat GPT integration to find out more information about that image. So those were the two things that you could do in iOS 18.2. But now in iOS 18.3, we're outside because we wanted to kind of explore and show you other things that you can do. So we are here next to the Gary Marshall Theater and one of the things that visual intelligence allows you to do is take an image of let's say like an event or a poster and actually create an event on your phone. So what I'm gonna do here is there's a variety of performances that are coming up or workshops. And this one is called a Team Tech Stage Lightning Effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a step back here. I'm gonna hold down the camera control button and that allows visual intelligence to happen. And what it does is it actually scans this. It sees there's a date and I can hit up here to create an event. It's going to say it's identifying the event. It now shows me a calendar option. I can edit it if I wanna change things, but I'm just gonna hit schedule. It shows Team Tech Stage and Lighting Effects, which is exactly what this is. I'm gonna schedule it April 5th. There's a variety of dates here as well that you can modify, but it saw this and instantly I popped it in my calendar just like that. Okay, so this is cool. Another way that visual intelligence works in 18.3 is the fact that it now recognizes plants and animals better. So I just wanted to get down over here. I'm gonna hold down the camera control button that initiates the visual intelligence. And what we'll see here is the suggestion of the Marguerite Daisy when I'm looking at these flowers. I'm gonna click on that and it gives me some information about the Marguerite Daisy right off the bat. And so, yeah, if I wanted to kind of look at more, I click down on this image and I find this pink one that matches that pink one. So I could see how this could be kind of useful, something fun to do for plant lovers or people that are curious about it. But there's also one more thing that we want to show you as well. Let's check it out. So now we know it can identify events. We've got plants and animals and even businesses. So let's check this out. So I'm going to bring the camera up and I'm going to hold the visual intelligence button feature. And what we'll see here is Bob's Big Boy. It identifies that here. So I'm just gonna click right up top. You can see American Cuisine. And down here you have different options, the menu, the website. I can even call it directly. But that's just all directly from your phone, from visual intelligence, trying to find businesses and places around you. That's what it does. So those are some of the new ways that you can use visual intelligence in 18.3 right now. There's also a couple other tweaks that we wanted to show you, and this comes down to notification summaries. Now, in previous versions, Apple might have summarized some news articles and they were not accurate with that. So they've actually entirely disabled any type of news and entertainment summaries at the moment with apps that are related to those categories. But there's something new with notifications here. I'm gonna swipe down from the top and what you'll see is you'll now be able to tell which notifications are summarized using Apple Intelligence. They'll have a little bit of an icon here, but also the text here is completely italicized. So you have here something like in my Google Home notification, multiple people seen at the front. You can, I can keep on scrolling. I have things like uh, a phone call, a voicemail left um, from the center calls to inform about back taxes forgiveness program. I'm just reading what it shows there. That, that's called spam, but it, it summarizes that here as well. You can also do things where you can actually, if I swipe left on a notification, it shows me this options button. I'm gonna click on it and I can actually turn off all these summaries. So I'm just gonna turn it off here and it removes them. So there's certain apps that you may not even want these summaries from. You can turn those off there. So that's a little, really a quick overview of how notification summaries work. The biggest thing, italicized options that show you which ones are summarized by Apple Intelligence. And then the third thing, this is a little subtle thing. The calculator app gets this, all right? So if I type in a formula like 10 times 50 and I hit the equal sign, it shows me my result. But now in 18.3, you can keep on hitting the equal sign and it continues to repeat that equation. And sometimes there's moments there are people that need that. Look, 
I barely use a calculator because I got it all in here, but this is really the other tweak from iOS 18.3. So the three things we showed you, visual intelligence improvements, notification summary improvements, and calculator equation improvements. Mind blown, okay, not, not mind blown, but there you go. That's just an overall wrap up of everything that is new in iOS 18.3.